How's it going, family? Sal be the realist. Once again, you're tuned in to Surrealistic Studios. I got a quick story for you guys. Can you guess what it is? Yeah, it's about uh, Sam Ronan. I just watched one of his interviews. Well, I, actually, I watched a couple of inter interviews with him and Mike Figueredo from The Humanist Report. And I just watched the recent interview that he did on the Jimmy Dore show. Now, let me just admit that ever since I heard the dude speak, man, I, I, I've been sold. I'm, I'm sold on, um, on Sam Ronan. I know we can vote for him, um, which, you know, bothers me because if you want to save the Democratic Party, you, you, you want to save a party that regular Democrats can't even vote for their leader. Like the head of the DNC, the DNC chair, we can't vote for. I'm still, um, I'm still registered as a Democrat. So even if I wanted to vote for Sam Ronan, I wouldn't be able to. <laughs> now that kind of throws me off already, man. I can't even, we can't even vote for our leaders in the Democratic Party. What kind of shit is that? But anyways, if we could vote for him, he would, he would get my vote. I mean, at this point, he'd get my vote. Um, he's a veteran. He was um, enlisted in the United States Air Force. So I think that's awesome. We need more veterans in high positions like that because we don't have enough of them. We don't have enough of them. These are people, think about it, these are people sitting in offices that go send young people out to go fight their wars. That's not right. These are people that have never seen action before telling young people to go fight for oil and money and control. And then they turn around and tell the soldiers that they're really fighting for their fellow soldier. Because at the end of the day, that's what it ends up being. Them fighting for the people that are around them because they're in a foreign land, people are shooting at them. Immediately, the people that you're with are your allies, of course, and the people that are shooting at you are your enemies because they're shooting at you. But the problem is you're in their land in the first place. And I don't want to get into foreign policy and all that stuff, but I, I think we should end all wars anyways, but that's just me. <laughs> but, you know. All right, anyways, my bad, I got caught up um, with a car. Um, but anyways, yeah, he's a vet, and what, another thing that I like about him He's also a millennial. I believe he's 27 years old, so that means he's about a year younger than I am. I know I don't look 28, right? Good genes, right? Yeah. But I like the fact that he's young because we do need, as, as well as military veterans in office, we do need more young blood. Because what we have is a, monop a monopoly of a bunch of old ass white guys that go out and, I mean, that really don't go out. They stay in their office and they send younger people a lot of times people of color to wars to go and die, fight and die for their oil, for their money, for their control. So I like the fact that he's a veteran. I like the fact that he's young. Um, I also like the fact that the dude, when he speaks, when you hear him speak, if you heard him speak, then you already know what I'm talking about. But if you've never heard him speak before, as soon as you hear him speak, you're going to be like, this dude is real as fuck. Like, damn, he's authentic. You know, and anybody can get in, get in front of a camera and lie. But what sells me on... Sam Ronan is that when he speaks, he speaks authentic. He speaks, it seems like it's coming from his heart. And you can tell with people. If somebody's like saying everything that you want to hear, or if somebody's really speaking from their heart and the issues truly bother them. And I feel it with him. I feel when he talks. Some, some, some people just feel me when I speak, they just feel it. That's how I feel with Sam Ronan. So, He's not afraid to, to speak his mind, and he's not afraid to call out his own people. He's not afraid to call out his own people. So he, he'll talk about how the uh, primaries were rigged against Bernie. He'll speak on the fact that the Democrats are hella corrupt. He's not afraid to call them out. He's not afraid to cuss, speak his mind. I love him, man. I, I love him. The interviews that he did with Mike and uh, Jimmy... We're awesome. You guys should check that out. Um, one thing that he said on the show, another thing that sold me on him and kind of kind of made me look at Jimmy Dore differently in a way. I still love Jimmy Dore, but this kind of threw me off. Sam Ronan says he is pro Second Amendment. When he said this, Jimmy Dore's response was, well, more or less to the his response was, uh, 
being pro Second Amendment is controversial. It's not really progressive. And that threw me way the hell off. He said being pro gun and pro Second Amendment is not a progressive stance. Now, I could be wrong. Um, I haven't been in politics for years, maybe like two. So I'm fairly new to politics. So forgive me if I'm wrong. Forgive me if I'm speaking out of turn or, or maybe I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. So if I'm wrong, let me know below. But I don't believe that banning, um, banning assault weapons and high capacity magazines, I, I don't believe that that's really a progressive stance. Now, I know that there's a lot of issues with guns and gun safety and, and, and people, you know, using assault weapons to shoot up you know, schools, I do realize that as an issue that does need to be rectified, but I don't think that that issue is going to be resolved by just the banning of a certain type of gun. Um, it doesn't make sense when Kyle Kalinske from Secular Talk and other, um, and other uh, people talk about legalizing and regulating all drugs, but they want to ban assault weapons. It's just backwards to me. It doesn't seem progressive to me. Now, the progressive stance to me would be to legalize and regulate all guns, just like you would do drugs. Don't we have a heroin problem in the United States right now? Don't we have people that are terribly, horribly addicted to drugs that end up stealing out in the streets, going crazy off God knows what they're injecting and smoking? Like, there's some serious issues in the United States, but you want to legalize and regulate all drugs. Now, I, am a, I, I do believe that as well. But this is my sense. If I'm, if I'm going to legalize and regulate all drugs, then I don't understand why we can't legalize and regulate all guns. When we have people die, we have a lot of people dying from drugs. We got a lot of people dying from guns. But your answers, your, 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 your solutions are different. So that doesn't make sense to me. He said it wasn't progressive. I think it is a progressive stance to be pro-gun because you're pro, you're pro-choice. We're pro-choice, right? That's a progressive stance. Pro-drugs pro is a progressive stance, but pro-guns is not progressive? So help me out, guys. What do you, what do you guys think about that? Is, is, is being pro-Second Amendment and being pro-gun a progressive stance, or is it not progressive? Let me know in the comments below. If you like this video, like it. Um, and do me a favor. If you guys got some time and you're interested in my, in my, in my stories and other stories that I've done in the past, I recently did some stories about... Standing Rock. Um, they're having a call to action um, March 7th through the 10th. I did a video on that, so check out my videos on Standing Rock. Also, I made a new song for all progressives out there. If you're interested, it's called So Progressive. Um, so if you could do me a favor and go check out the, go check out that song. Let me know what you think. You know, if I hit all the areas, if I didn't hit some areas, let me know how I can improve myself. I love critiques. So again, in summary. Um, Sam the man, I'm with you all the way. I know that we can't vote for you, but um, you made a fan, brother. As, as long as you keep speaking truth and you keep being real, keep speaking from the heart, you got a fan in me, bro. LB the realest stands with Sam the man Ronin, all right? Until next time, guys, love, peace, and chicken grease.